Good morning. As Shireen said, um, we have lost two important members of our community. One of them was our beloved community member, Don Blumenthal. I understand that many of you have the pleasure of working with him. He worked tirelessly over many years in many different roles to make, an internet, make the internet a safer place for all of us. He worked in industry, government, and volunteered as a leader. Don was a valid member of the Security and Stability Advisory Committee, ASAC, as well as various ICANN Polish development working groups. His expertise, hard work, and grace and humor we were sold to be missed by us. And to remember him, and by request, every ICANN meeting I have the honor to have a meeting and a dinner with the tech community. That dinner will from now on be called the Don Blumenthal Dinner. Thank you very much. The other person I would like to remember is, as well is my colleague, my friend, Tarek Kemmel. It's hard for me to stand up here um, because his life meant so much for so many of us. His family, his friends, everybody here will remember a man who was larger than life. And therefore, I would like to introduce that we will never forget him in ICAM. I announce that Tarek will be remembered in the community for the annual Tarek Kamal Award that will recognize individuals significantly contributing to the capacity building and creating diversity within our community. We haven't worked out the details yet, so I will have to come back to you. So, Welcome to ICANN 66, our annual general meeting and the three-year anniversary of the IANA stewardship transition. As with every AGM, we have a packed agenda, including the third Atlas Summit, which is taking place from Monday to Thursday. Atlas is a major part of what Atlas do, and it's a training opportunity for new people to come in and take important roles within Atlas and ICANN. I would like to especially thank the leadership of At-Large uh, for all the hard work they've done over the last year to be able to set this up. Give them a round of applause, please. <laughs> I came in about three years ago, and one of the things that amazes me is how ICANN continues to evolve, uh, adopt new challenges to work on. Not all things happen fast. For instance, we're still having the opening ceremony in the morning. I'm still working on it. So I thought to myself, coming into this, um, what, would, what would Tarek say? What would his message be to all of us this morning? I mean, he's been around for two decades in this, and even longer. I met Tarek first time in 2009, um, when he was in Sharm el Sheikh. Um, and I think that he often spoke about the fact that we're not done. Um, we're working to get the next billion users online. That is our goal. Because we believe by connecting people on this thing we call the internet, something magical happens. I can, as an institution, doesn't matter about the financial systems or, in that sense, economic growth. But we do believe in the fact that if you connect people on this thing, we call the internet, something magical actually happens. It's about sharing information with each other. And why the multi-stakeholder model? Think about it for a second. In this room now, in this meeting now, we have 2,500 people from 130 countries. Can you tell me any other occasions when so many individuals around the world actually comes together to talk about a common goal? I can't think about it. Maybe the Olympics. The, the fact of the matter is that you are unique, and I can, as its substance, is unique. And what makes it unique is you. The diversity, the differences, the difference in opinions they all bring together. That is really what ICANN is all about. And we do that in most of the times with respect for each other. We do that by sometimes arguing, sometimes even shouting, but we reach the consensus in the end. And I don't think, and I've called ICANN before a large peace project, 
and I still believe it is, and it's thanks to you. And I know Tarek is looking down on us and saying, hmm, you're doing okay. As such. But we're also losing Shireen. It's actually quite old, even if it doesn't look so. <laughs> I want to say this joke was written by his speech writer. <laughs> or as they say, he's still alive. I want to take this opportunity to honor Shireen. Um, he was heavily involved in hiring me. Don't say that as a negative. I actually liked it. He's been with us for nine years. He's been a clear leader. And the, the remarkable thing is that he didn't come from the internet ecosystem. It was thrown in by Noncom. And he immediately, I understand, adopted to this greater thing that I can represent. And you welcomed him and trained him. And his passion, wisdom, sometimes business acumen, has served as well. I think that Shireen's leadership, together with many of you, was very important during the transition. And actually, thanks to his hard work, we're a more mature, more transparent organization, united much more in a common vision of achieving our strategic plan. A great leader possesses many qualities. They inspire us. They make us come together. They guide us, even when the road is a little bit unclear. They show us and make sure that we don't remember to do the right thing. They show us compassion and understanding, no matter how difficult things get. Shireen has many of those qualities. You know when he speaks, which I'm trying to learn from, he thinks about every word he says. And I know that what you said is honestly is that now when Martin is stepping on board, you helped him. Um, you helped him to understand what it means to be the chair of ICANN. Shireen, I think you're the best chairman we ever had. Martin, you will be even better. <laughs> so thank you very much for everything you've done for us. And, and I look forward to see you maybe at Noncom. So just coming up here, uh, Geraldine said to me, you don't even mention me. And you know how well I take orders, do you? Yeah, yeah my staff just looked at me, yeah. So thank you, Geraldine, and to your family for patiently waiting for nine years to get your husband back. <laughs> um, he's been a very important part of our community. You will get him back now. But as a small token of respect, we would like to present you with this. Uh, coming up on stage. Yes. <laughs> Every year, the I can. The ICANN executive team um, security. Every year, the ICANN Leadership Award is presented to an outstanding individual in our community who demonstrates an extraordinary commitment to ICANN. The winner, chosen by the ICANN Org executive team, is someone who remains true to the community's true values. This year's winners has demonstrated a level of commitment and passion that is unrivaled and is someone I'm honoured to consider both a friend and a colleague. So please join me on stage, the well-deserved winner of this year's ICANN Leadership Award, Shireen Shalabi. So I have only one more thing to say.
I, I've checked my notes, and I, I now can say that this is going to be the best ICANN meeting ever. Welcome. Welcome.